again. Um, a uh, channel subscriber, USA Patriot 4163, asked only what other games I had. <clears throat> so I thought, by way of an answer, um, I would uh, just do a short video to show uh, the games that I have here. Um, I immediately set up my most recent acquisitions. Being uh, in Italy, I, um, I thought it only, only right and proper that I would acquire some of the international team titles. So they, these are titles from the 70s, 80s, 90s, um, produced, made and produced in Italy. And uh, they're, they're quite distinctive in that every, uh, they have their big box format, flat box, they have um, hardboard um, maps. This one, Bonaparte, has four map sections covering all of Europe. Uh, but I think the most distinctive part, you can see it already on the box cover, is they are, everyone is in four languages. So the rule booklets are, say, about 60 pages long, but that's, so that's what, 15, 16 or so pages each language, because it's in four languages. So the rules are never that great and complex. At least for these games, the ones I know, that I think there may be some others that get a bit more complex. Um, uh, so they're quite easy to get into. They also each have like examples, a booklet for uh, parts and examples of play, which is helpful. Um, this Bonaparte game has, it's, a, it's an exciting game. I just finished the game of it. Um, it, logistics feature very importantly in, in it. So you have all the possible nations involved here. You have a, a turn track here. It lasts from end of 1806 to 1813. Um, you have weather variations and uh, logistical um, supplies to be, to be used. But, and then you have various sort of political um, and uh, reconstructed elements in it. Now, I, I found this, it, it, I, I thought it was a, a great game for its age. Um, it looks really nice. Uh, it's generally, these games are either in very nice condition and very expensive to buy. You have um, collectors getting them, and uh, they're way out of the market for me. So I buy them when they're, they're tatty, um, the board's got marks on it, it's you know, falling apart basically. All four of these ones that I've just recently got have some kind of like mildew damage. Look at that, terrible. The game is still completely playable, it's fine. Um, everything's there. And that game I found very interesting, very enjoyable, but partly because of the conciseness of the rules, you have to expect a fair bit of house ruling to, to make sure you know what you're doing. So. At first I thought everything was there in the rules, um, it's just that I needed to check and read them carefully. But then I realised certain situations came up which were not addressed in the rules at all. They only really needed a bit of common sense and then maybe a decision one way or another to address it. I would like to come back to this game at another point and compare it to um, War and Peace by uh, Avalon Hill, which comes from the same sort of era and covers the same... Uh, the same situation, probably the Napoleonic Wars, more or less. Um, then the next game, which I'll just quickly show you, is Austerlitz. So this is a tactical game, and this highlights another beautiful thing of the uh, um, uh, the um, international team games. Is they were originally a jigsaw manufacturer, so some of their games came as jigsaws. And not only that, they were three-dimensional. So um, this game actually has pieces missing. So I bought it with pieces missing. Um, knowing that full well, I've been uh, experimenting with my photocopy, but not working very well, but photocopying, downloading images from the internet so I can layer it up and get the full 3D effect. So I'm looking forward to that game at some point. Um, but that move on to show you another point about these international team games. This is another one I got, Bighorn, um, the Battle of the Little Bighorn, Custer's Last Stand. Now it's got again the same jigsaw map, so 
But what actually happens is that when all the bits of the jigsaw are complete in this, foot, this game I have, but when you actually build up the jigsaw, so you see this is the base map, there's a level here, and then there's various extra levels layered on top. When you build it up, it extends beyond the base map board, so that you, if you glue them together as it tells you to do, you can't get them back in the box afterwards. So this came with the box, but the, bit, the boards were out of the box. So that's another one I'm looking forward to play. Again, that one didn't have the rules, but fortunately I downloaded a, a Euro games, a French company's version of the rules, which is different from the original, but still playable with the same game. And then I got this Attila game. You can see the horrendous state of the box. It's all there. Everything's playable. The board's a bit patty. But I play, paid about uh, 15 euros for that, and then postage on top. So, um, operational tactical and uh, kind of strategic, um, yeah, that's all about the um, barbarian invasions of Rome. So that's my latest acquisitions from Italy. Here's my little game shelf here. I have m many more games in, uh, in the UK, but um, those are in the UK. So here I have this stuff. Uh, let me see, can I turn this around? Okay, I'm just going to 